everybody, welcome to Move with Midnight. I'm Midnight and I'll be working you out this next 30 minutes. As always, we're wanting to push our bodies to that place of fatigue, getting to that shaky state, pushing ourselves to our limits, but honoring that limit and taking a break whenever you need to. So please, shake out when you need to, stretch it out, breathe, then get back into a set as soon as you can. Modify wherever you need as well if you're taking care of any injuries or limitations. Yeah, but we're gonna burn into those muscles. All right, for this session, you just need a wall, a mat, always have water nearby so you can keep hydrated, and a towel so you can towel off that sweat because we're gonna be working. All right, roll the shoulders up and back. Arms out to a nice wide second position. Energy through those fingers. Knee lifts up and up. Get the knee to hip height or higher. Suck in the core. Nice pointed toes on the bottom. Dancer feet. Energy all the way through those toenails. Now suck in the belly like you're trying to button up a tight pair of pants. You want that sucking and feeling the whole entire time. Good, start to turn out those legs. So we're bringing the heel across the midline, shining the inner thigh up towards the sky. Still breathing. Now if you need to modify or go at a different pace than me, that's fine, as long as you keep moving. Just keep moving, even if it's just a march. We wanna use this warm up to get the blood pumping, loosen up the joints, get those muscles warm. Opposite hand taps, tap, tap. That's it. Good, light little taps. Right in the heel of that foot. You can't reach the heel of the foot, that's okay. As long as you're trying. As long as you're trying, you're strengthening, you're working, so just do the best that you can. That's it. Eight, seven. Squat it down and up. Be about hip width distance apart. Set the weight back in the heels. Flex the toes up towards the forehead. Suck the belly in, keep the chest lifted. Pulse it at the bottom. Go down to your lowest squat, whatever that is for you today. Start to burn out those legs, feel that fire on top of the thighs. That's it, hold in four, three, Two, hold it down, step it in and out. Teeny tiny steps. Switch it other side, in and out. That's it, like you have a low ceiling, keep low and switch it. And switch, you're almost there. Switch again. Last time, switch, four, three, Two, and one. Stand it up, shake it out. Ah, nice deep breath in and out. We're going to our wall to get into that upper body. Facing the wall, bring your hands out nice and wide. Releve up on your tippy toes. Squeeze your glutes, keep the core tight so you can lower yourself down as one plank. Just find this position first. Try and lower your nipple line down in between your thumbs. So we're not bringing our chin. We're really trying to lower that chest down, then push it back up. Nice and slow. Down for two, and up for two. Now if this feels too easy, you can always take this set down on the ground. Do those regular push-ups down on the floor. Speed it up to tempo. If you need to add more, you can also add a float at the top of that push-up. Then also step your feet back a little bit more. Make it a little bit harder. Slow it down, down for two, and up for two. Okay, extend one leg back behind you. Squeeze through that glute. Nice straight leg on the bottom. Or you can always stick to that double leg push up. Speed it up, down, lift, squeeze, breathe. Four, three, two, Slow it down again, take that foot down. Switch it over to the other side. Squeezing through that back glute. Breathing, keep the core engaged. Take that rest if you need to, if you're burning out. Speed it up to tempo. Down and lift. Press. Push that wall away from you. 
four, three, two, last one. Nice job, good. We're gonna bring those fingers so they're pointed straight up towards the sky. Narrow our stance. Now we're letting those elbows come right in towards the rib cage, then pushing back out again. Getting into the triceps, the back of the arms right here. Slow, down for two, and up for two. Again, we're trying to lower that chest down. Don't let the shoulders come up. Keep them rolling down the back. Really push through your palms as hard as you can. Speed it up to tempo. Now maybe you can't get your chest all the way down to the wall. That's okay. Maybe you're right here today. That's fine. You go to your range of motion, wherever you need to go, as long as you're feeling that burn in the back of those triceps. Pulse it down. Pulse, pulse. That's it. Teeny tiny pulses right at the bottom. Hold it. Right here, hold, yes. Can you lower one inch further? Four, three, two, and one, good. Palms press into the wall. Push the armpits down. And if that set wasn't enough for you, next time do it down on the floor. You can do that whole set down on the ground, on the mat. Good, roll it on up. Let's stretch out those arms. Taking the right arm, pulling it across. Roll the shoulder down. Tilt the ear. Roll out that neck. You can also roll out the wrist. You want feeling nice, deep stretch in the side of the neck, outside of the shoulder. Breathe. Give yourself a pat on the back. Grab the elbow, snuggle it behind the head. Push back with the head to keep the neck in alignment. Look up and under that arm. Extra, add an extra side body lean. Open up the armpit, stretch into the side of the rib cage. Come on up. Press your hand into that wall, 90 degree angle, elbow lined up with the shoulder. Rotate yourself open, open up the front of the chest. Keep that shoulder blade rolling down the back. That's it, good, switch the other side. Taking that left arm, pulling it across, roll the shoulder blade down, pull out the wrist, and tuck that ear. Start to heat up, start to shred into that muscle fiber. We now want to stretch it out, encouraging it to build back in that longer, leaner dancer tone. Pan the back, grab the elbow, snuggle behind, push back, look up and under, add extra side body lean. Open it up. Good, take that hand. Open yourself up. Really stretch through the front. Last eight. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, release it down, nice work. Shake it out. All right, we're getting into those thighs now, all right? Put your back up against that wall. Walk your feet out a little bit. Slide your tailbone down the wall. We're going into a wall sit. Yes, we want those knees right over the ankles. So if your feet are too far in, whew, it's hard to hold there. You want to step them out, but you don't want them too far out here. You want them lined up right underneath your knees. Goal is to get your hips as low as your knees. If you're not there today, that's okay. You can move up as high as you need to, as long as you're burning into those sides right on top. Press your back into that wall and breathe. Good. Bring those arms out wide to energy through the arms, through the shoulders. Lift the heel up and down. Lift. Just one side. Pressing over that big toe mound. Root down through your heels. Make sure those knees are going right over the toes. That's it, suck the core in. Relax the jaw. Head floating up towards that sky. Switch other heel, up and down. That's it. Don't let the ankle roll open. Favor the inside arch. Really press towards the inside of that foot. Squeeze and breathe. Yes, burning so thighs. Just feel that heat, feel that fire. If you don't, I want you to lower down another inch. You go to your max, your limit. Switch other side, lift and lower, lift. Squeeze. Switch other side, lift 
Lift. Oh, yeah. Feel that burn. Breathe into it. Switch. Other side for two. And switch. Lift. And switch. Lift. And switch. Lift. Feel that burn. Single it out. Up and down. Up and down. Let's speed it up. Jog the heels up. Switch and switch and switch. Can you bring the arms up overhead? Squeeze. Eight. Seven. Can you lower that tailbone a little bit more? You press through those feet a little bit harder. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Take a moment. Ah, stand yourself up. Give yourself a little shake of those legs. Turn around. We're not quite done yet. Bring the heels in. Releve up on your big toe mound. Squeeze the heels together. Plie just means to bend the knees. Diamond out those legs. We're going to hinge over. The further you are away from that wall, the more you can hinge over. So maybe try it so you just have your fingertips touching that wall. Make sure your hips are over your heel line. Go down low, then try to lower another inch. Down, down. Yes, burning into those legs again. Press the knees out wide. Make sure they're lined up over the toes. Good, you go down, down, up, up, down, down. Low, lower, teeny, tiny. Working that bottom most range of motion. Down, down. Single it out. Down, down. Yes, feel that burn, feel that shake start to set in. You can do this with flat feet as well. If you need to, go in that flat foot position, that's fine. If you don't feel this, try and releve up even more. Go to that forced arch as high as you can. It's gonna send to those legs a little bit deeper. Change it to down hold. You drop down hold. Little lift down hold. Little lift down hold. Oh yeah, I see that shake starting to set in. How about you? See those legs starting to quiver? Yes, that is those muscles. Shredding into the muscle fiber. Changing them. Making them stronger. Pull the belly button in. Single it out. Eight, seven. Core nice and strong. Head long. Hold it at the bottom. Hold. Squeeze your heels together. Can you lower one inch further? Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Stand it up. Shake it out. Yes. All right. Grab onto that foot. Knees together. Hips tucked under. Gently pull that heel towards your glutes. Lengthening out the top of that thigh. Ah, oh, breathe into it. Yes. That quiver. That's the magic. The magic of bar is in that burnout. Those are our muscles telling us we're shredding into them. Cross that leg over, snip back into a figure four stretch. Stretch into that booty. Ah, oh, you can wiggle it around. Feel a nice stretch in the side of the hip. We're about to get into that booty a lot more. Stand it up, other direction. Grabbing onto that foot, knees together, hips tuck under, and like pull that heel towards your glute. You want the knee pointed straight down to the ground so it's not out in front of you. Really push that hip forward. Try and push the knee down. Good, cross it over, sit back to that figure four stretch. Last eight. Four, three, two, and one. Whew, stand it up. All right, we're going down on that mat. We're not done with the wall yet, though. Facing the wall, I'm rolling it down onto my back. I'm going to scoop my hips towards that wall. Give them nice and close. Put my feet at a 90 degree angle. Think about hip width distance apart. Really push my feet into that wall like I'm trying to shove the wall into the next room. Now squeeze my glutes and lift my hips, my tailbone just one fist length off of the mat. So I'm never coming ugh, all the way here up on my neck. I'm just hovering that tailbone. Press your feet into the wall as hard as you can. Then squeeze your glutes. So everything lifts just an inch. And very small movement, not a full range bridge. 
The harder you push your feet into the wall, the more you're gonna feel it in the backs of these thighs, the hamstrings. So if you don't feel it starting to heat up, think of pushing, pressing, stamping your feet into that wall a little bit harder. Option to also go up to your releve, go up to that forced arch, up on tippy toes. You may feel it send to those hamstrings a little bit more there. So you can always stay flat-footed if you want. Break it down. You go up, up, down, down, up, 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 up. That's it. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. Single it. Up, up. Good option to bring those arms overhead as well. Oh, try and relax that upper body. And that way all of the weight is in the legs, not in the arms. Change it to up hold. Up hold. Pull down up hold. Up hold. Squeeze hold. Squeeze hold. Single it. Up. 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 Oh yeah, feel that burn. You'll feel that burn. I need to push into that wall a little bit more. Oh, squeeze into those hamstrings a little bit deeper. Pulse it at the top. Lift, 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 lift. Little bounces. Oh yeah, I feel that burn. I feel that change setting into those legs. 16, 15, 14, eight. Hold in four, three, two, hold it. Bring your arms up towards that sky. If you're not on releve, see if you can releve up now. One inch higher. Eight, seven. Push those feet in a little bit harder. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, rotate it down. Nice work. Okay, we're going onto our belly. Flip it over. Heels come together. Rest your forehead on your stacked palms or make fists and rest those, that forehead down. Squeeze your glutes, press your hips down into the floor. If your knees come off of the mat, great. If they don't come off of the mat, that's okay. But as long as you're trying, you're strengthening. Suck the belly button in and try and press those flexed feet up towards the ceiling, another inch. Up, up, up. That's it. This is gonna engage those hamstrings again and squeezing the cheeks, getting into the glutes. Lift, lift, break it down. You go lift, 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 high, higher. We are getting into that lower back as well. So to protect that lower back, suck in the belly. Single it out, lift. Imagine like there's a tack underneath that belly button and you're sucking your belly up off of that tack. It'll help stabilize the core protect that lower back as well. Change it to up hold, you squeeze up hold. Little down up hold. Squeeze hold, squeeze those glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze hold, yes, flex those feet back as hard as you can as well. Heels pressing towards the sky. Squeeze hold, squeeze hold, that's it. You're almost there with that seat section. Single it, up, up, up. Hold it at the top, hold it right here. Yes, lengthen those legs out nice and long. Lift, up, up, up. Your finale for those seats. Squeeze into the legs. Eight, seven, hold in four. Hold it at the top, just hold. Lengthen those legs a little bit longer. Squeeze those glutes one inch higher. Four, three, two, and one. Whoo, yes, nice job. Push it back into a child's pose. Knees go out wide, big toes barely touching. Set those hips down. Do a little sway side to side. Breathe into your back body. Ah, oh, nice, strong work, everyone. So let's stretch out those glutes. Rolling onto your back. Taking one foot, crossing it up and over. Flex that foot. Bring the knee in, lay the calf across your chest, going into your recline figure four stretch. Press your tailbone back down to the floor, flatten your spine out as you pull that leg in. Breathe into it. 
That's it. Grab onto that foot. Just give it a quick little stretch with the flex foot. Just give me a nice little stretch in the back of that hamstring before you switch it out to the other side. Crossing it over, pulling it in, and breathing. Glutes, biggest muscle in our body. Takes a lot to burn them out, but when we do, it's intense. But we also get maximum calorie burn. We get into those major muscle groups. So it's worth it. Straighten your leg. Stretch it towards you. Quick little stretch. Good. Come on up. Last stretch for those hamstrings. Bring the legs on front. Up. Stretch it over. Pouring your weight over those legs. For eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll it up. All right, we just have our core left to do. Back down on the mat. Knees fall over to one side, hands behind the head. Chest still stays lifting up towards that ceiling. Oblique crunch, up and down. Squeezing into the side. Imagine like the gap between your hips and your ribs is an accordion. And you're squeezing that accordion as tightly as you can. Pressing it together like the bottom of your rib cage wants to kiss the top of that hip bone. Carving out the side of that body. Pulse it up. Lift, lift. Teeny tiny lifts up as high as you can get it. Squeezing, lift that nose up towards the ceiling. Full range up and down, lift and lower. Good option, stay here or you can add that top leg. Knee tucks in then stretches out. Squeeze. Really try and get that knee in and still accordion the side of the body as tightly as you can. Exhale on exertion. Pulse it in. Pulse. Pulse. That's it. Squeeze. Hold it in. Just hold it. Eight. Seven. That isometric hold. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh, a little relief. Give it a little bit of a stretch. A little bit of a rub. Switch it over to that other side. Knees fall over to the other direction. Hands behind the head. Let's work into that other oblique. Lifting up and down. Lift. Make sure those hips stay stacked on top. So you're really trying to pour your knees over to the side so you're lifting your chest straight up. And exhale on exertion. Pulse it up. Little tiny. Make sure you have a gap between chin and chest. You're not pulling on that neck here. Keep that neck nice and long. Full range up and down. Option to add that knee. Tucking in and out. How small can you tuck in? Then how long can you poke that leg? That extension of the leg and that compression in is what's working those abs. Pulse it in. That's it, squeezing. Pressing. Hold it in right here, hold it. Eight, seven. Squeeze into it a little bit deeper. Four, three, two, and one. Very last thing, go up to your plank very quickly. Finish out that core strong. Dip the hips side to side. We're working those obliques. We're carving out the sides of that abdominal wall. Making that rainbow with our hips up and over. That's it. You're almost there. Give it everything you got. 
Leave it all on the mat. For eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Oh yeah, set back into a child's pose. Knees go wide, big toes barely touching. Close your eyes, breathe. Press your armpits down towards that floor. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Settle back into your body. Try and release any tension, any soreness. Nice, strong work, dancers. Then so curl yourself on up. Go into your quadruped position. Go through a few cat-cows. Suck the belly button in, press your spine up towards that ceiling, tuck the chin in towards the chest. Lengthen the tailbone back behind you. Shine your heart forward. Shoulders rolling down. Lift the nose up towards the sky. Cow position. Back up to that cat. And back down to the cow. Ah. Good. Find that neutral spine. Bring one foot in front. Knee stays over the ankle. The other toe can tuck under, pressing the hip flexor down, or you can keep the back knee down. Just press that hip flexor down towards the ground. Roll the shoulders up and back. If you want a deeper stretch, you can also bring it up on top of this knee. Ah, breathe into it. Open up the front of that hip. Enjoy this stretch, you earned it. Good, come down. Shift your weight back onto that back knee, straighten the front leg. Flex your toes towards your forehead. Hinge yourself forward, flatten your belly on top of that thigh for as much as you can. Stretch into the back of the calf, into the hamstring. Ah. And do a little side to side. Whatever feels good, give those hips. Good, bring that leg back in. Switch it to the other side. The other foot comes forward, knee over the ankle. An option to tuck those toes under, go into a full lunge position. Or you can keep that back knee down. Make as I want that hip flexor to push down towards the ground. And come up to your knee for a deeper stretch. Go to wherever feels good in your body. I'm gonna re-nourish those muscles. Find that length, the, encouraging those muscles to build back. Leaner, longer, toner. Shift your weight back, straighten that front leg. Flex the toes back towards the forehead. Shine the heart forward, tailbone back behind. Stretching into the back of that leg. Give yourself a little side to side sway. Breathing. Taking this moment, resetting, letting that workout sink into your body. Good, bring that foot back behind. Tuck your toes underneath you. Press your heels down towards the floor. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Bowing down in honor of your work, in honor of your practice, in honor of all of the amazing things you accomplished today. Head hangs heavy as you straighten your legs, go into forward fold. Do a few little bounces here. Just feel gravity work in the opposite direction of your spine. Walk your hands out. Go into a downward dog. Press your heels down. Lengthen your tailbone up towards the sky. Push your armpits down towards the floor. Stare back towards your feet. Walk your toes up towards your hands. A little bend in those knees, tuck the pelvis, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Good. Reaching all the way over, stretching, reaching across the body, up and over. Good, and other way, giving that nice side bend like you're reaching to a deep pocket and slicing that hand above. And extend that arm over or leave it down. As long as you feel a stretch in the side body. Good, come back up. Deep breath in, arms go overhead. And down. Deep breath in, come out. 
and down. Thank you so much for joining me. Great workout, everybody. If you want more, check out some more of my classes, or you can also see me live. I do a lot of classes where we can work out in person. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.